All right, let's get cranking. Oh, you're doing you're doing show and tell on that. Yes, this is good. This is good show and tell. So this is Bruce Jones' 1986 Mercury or Mercury Lincoln <gasps> Mark Seven LSC. It. My it, is it is a magnificent car. This car has 14,330 miles on it. Original, I, original everything. But the rubber. I mean, it is Hopefully. original but everything. Even everything. Even the trunk. Is filled with carpenters, the singing cooks, white boy gospel music. Oh, Lord. This guy, Lord. Carolinas. I oh. want to get him a black Sabbath tape because I want to see if it'll set the car on fire. <laughs> yes. So anyway, Bruce, Metal. Bruce brought it in because it was stalling. It, it, it would get low on fuel we'd go around and turn and it would stall and then it would kick back on again. And I said, I can, I've can. i got about a half a dozen things it's going to be, but we're going to have to drop the gas tank to see what it is. And I get under there, I drop the tank. The tank is new. The pump is new. The tank is clean as a whistle inside. But yet it's stalled. Now I want you to look at this pump. It gets installed this way, right here. Just like this. Do you see anything wrong with this? This pump is the recommended pump by AutoZone, Napa, O'Reilly's, Advance Auto. Is the tank that shallow? The tank is that shallow. Oh, wow. Okay. So the bottom of the tank is right here. Oh, well, it's too low. So if it gets too low, there's not enough. Yeah, you're not going to pick up the. Last of the tank. The yeah, but you should be able to run it down to within an inch or two of the bottom. Sure, you are. Yeah. Fuse. So what's wrong with it? The filter? It's a big. You got a filter? Oh, it's, no, it's broke. No, <laughs> this is a brand new, never been installed pump that is going back because there's something wrong with it. I can't give the answer because I know the answer because I, I got the answer yesterday. Front of it. Well, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. This is known as a fuel inlet strainer. And on the Carter models, this comes right off. On the Carter models, they stick it right here. On the Delco models or Delphi models, the strainer is in the correct position, which is actually like this. This strainer, if a portion of it is exposed to air, oh, that becomes the path of least resistance and the pump sucks air. Oh. So goodness. it's sitting here in this position, and as soon as it gets below about a quarter of a tank, this can be exposed to atmosphere, and you're sucking air. Makes sense. So I got on the internet tubes, and it turns out the same people that made this make one that sits just like this. Right. Uh-huh. So I bought that one. Wow. And for a whopping $10, the strainer is in the right position, which will allow this to run down to about an eighth of a tank before it starts acting a little wonky. I had a dumb question. Sure. When you said this is down here, well, how does it get in there? It has an elbow, okay. a little plastic elbow, and it sticks on this way but it mounts the strainer here. And the reason I'm telling this to you guys, and wherever she went, where'd she go? She's hiding oh, behind the know. tall guy. Okay. Yes, okay, uh, and Allison, is, is that I want you guys to think critically. I want you to think about the processes and the, some of the physics behind this, because like I said, every, single auto supply store in town, which by extension is across America, says that is acceptable. <laughs> it is, as long as you keep it above a half a tank. Half a tank. About a half a tank. Get down to a quarter and it starts acting up. And that's yeah, there was... fight today with off-the-shelf auto parts. That's Correct. That's why for my stuff, so we I have often to... go to specialty vendors, mm -hmm. even if I spend more money. Yeah, we have to think about these things and compare the drawings. You know, when I saw this like this, and I'm like, well, maybe it goes in the gas tank like this, because some gas tanks 
will have the pump on this outlet on the side, like a Dodge A100 van will have it on the back of the tank. So I'm like, okay, that's the bottom. When I pulled it out of the tank, I went, holy shit, this isn't going to work at all. And sure enough, it didn't. And when I was in here, when you had this up on the lift yesterday and the tank out of it, there was a lot of gas still in that tank. Yeah, he was saying that it was stalling and it was running rough. It was between and half I and a third. Took, I took seven gallons of fuel out of the tank. There was still some in it when I put it back up. That's yeah. nearly half with the original one. Oh, yeah. It looked just like this, but it had this strainer, and that's the Delphi pump was the correct head. The design was kind of like this. So the strainer needs to be in the lowest point of the tank and more or less on the floor of the tank. This is nowhere on the near the floor, this is. 